Conversation seems to break you away from all the things that will be okay, going through your mind in any okay. other normal situation. We might have to cut all out the normal. things that will be going through your mind in any other. We gotta cut out normal. Okay. You know, at, at work or um, you know the bullshit conversations that you know you're out socially and you see people and it's just this fluff of, of crap, you know. And everybody does it. I do it. Um, there's a social. There's a social. I don't know, unsaid agreement about that. I mean, you, you have to have these bullshit conversations. Um, yeah, give me a call, you know, that, that type of thing. You know, yeah, yeah, let's get together, and you know that's not gonna happen. The music on conversations coming from Mark, I just flipped it into an electronic thing, you know, but the, but the musical chord progression was pretty much his deal. See, but, I didn't but it was done in like, it was done in like an acoustic way. So I take his demo of the acoustic thing, kind of chop it up, maybe rearrange it slightly, but all the chord sequences are all there as he wrote them. And then I just put it, I just made it electronic, really. We really didn't think it was gonna make the record um, because we just couldn't get that point across, you know, and, and John, John basically rewrote that um, at the last minute. Dancing around to the song, long enough to figure out what does it really feel like, what's coming out of our body at this time. And sometimes writing is, is like that. Instead of trying to grab the song and make it something, letting the song put you into a place and then see what comes out of that. And then what came out of it was deep down. Da -da -da. Keep and go. <laughs> Keep and go. <laughs> because we let it come through the music kind of instead of trying to force something that wasn't happening, you know, and, and that's a really, that's a tough part in the writing process for people like us that aren't just natural born songwriters, you know, it's a, always a lot of work. That you're prone to movements on the topic of philosophy and revelation, small talk, buzzy bow, guess that's not the way it's supposed to be though. And in these drum machines, you can, you can really, really, really syncopate a drum part and a bass, so-called bass guitar part, what the drum machine calls a bass guitar sound, which is just really a synth bass kind of a sound. And you can make it, you can, and it's cool because it's, it's, it's visual, you're, you're, you're sort of making the music in a visual way, so it's on a grid and you can tell the, the bass sound to hit on exactly the drum sounds if you want. So you get that kind of, uh, you get that, that 80s syncopated drum thing like you hear in like a lot of Blondie tracks or or like uh, Joe Jackson's Steppin' Out's one that I always really liked a lot yeah. that has that sound. It has a relentless quality to it. It's just doing this all the time. It just never stops. Oh my God, you know? The chorus was written a year ago with the vocoder. The chorus was written a year ago, but we just, we just couldn't, couldn't get it worked out. And uh, it was probably, it was one of the last ones that got finished. So I was pretty happy with it. And I think it, it gets the whole um, concept of, of of those those conversations that are just fluff, you know, <laughs> they don't mean anything, but they have to exist because that's the way the social it, it system is. works. It I is, guess. it <laughs> is, it is. We kind of thought it was funny to have this really uplifting, like happy track with some like really depressing lyrics. <laughs> yeah.